Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. So today we're going to be doing a check-in on their feelings, just an update on where their feelings currently are at. Um, we did their thoughts last week and I always, if you've had a private reading with me, you know I always do thoughts and feelings as two separate, um, two separate things. Because they are, you know, what we think and what we feel are two separate things. So we're going to go into their feelings today. Um, I've just got some stuff to tell you first. Um, I am now fully booked with private readings for the whole of December, so I'm taking January bookings. Um, I also decided last month, Those, some of you have seen it, I know um, I put a, a post, a written post on the community, so I know some of you have seen it, and I also did it on Instagram, um, that I'm gonna be giving 10% of all the bookings throughout December, all the bookings that I've had, to the WWF, the World Wildlife Fund. Um, so, that money has now been put aside to go to them. I'm going to send it in January. However, um, if you want to make a donation on top, I've had a couple of donations from you lot already. If you want to make a donation on top, just email me and I'll make sure that it gets added to the total. I just wanted to do something to kind of help the planet a little bit and our animals because it, it dead upsets me, everything that's kind of happening. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Give 10% of the money that I've made to charity. So if you want to donate on top, just drop me an email and, and then we can talk about it and I'll get make sure that your money gets added to the grand total. And thank you for those that have donated already, it's dead, dead kind of you. Um, I always think it's it's nice, you know, I'm, I, I'm gifted for a reason and this reason is to help you all, but obviously it's to help the planet as well, that's the way I see it. So, um, so that's my plan, Christmas is going to the animals from me. Right. Now I've had a bit of a rant, um, not a rant, but a bit of a discussion with you all. So yeah, January bookings now. Um, I know some of you will have skipped forward for all of that because I ramble, um, but it's, it is important. To me it's important in a way. Right, let's do it. Checking on feelings. We're going for nice airy fairy decks. This is a feminine deck, this is a masculine deck. Um, right, deck number one, deck number two, pick a deck. What are their feelings? So think about you, think about your person. Someone said to me the other day, can we have more than two decks? The answer is no. The reason for that is because if you're doing it properly, it should work anyway because we're going into the strongest mutual energy. So there's no difference in what scenarios you pick. It's not, you're all at different stages, but for going into the strongest mutual energy between you all, it doesn't matter what your scenario is because it will pull out your mutual energy. Number one, number two, let's go. Okay, can I get into my collective energy of deck number one, please? Oh, the other thing for um, Christmas as well is that I will be going, um, I will be doing the email readings over Christmas. I don't want to just completely cut you off while I'm having a bit of downtime with my family. Um, so if their email readings are going to carry on over Christmas, it's to be 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Um, it might go up to 36 hours, depending on how many I kind of get in. Um, but that's going to carry on over the Christmas period. So no pri no video readings, they're all January bookings coming in now, but email readings are going to happen. Okay, can you get me into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions or thought processes? Can you think about your person please? Can we get into the strongest mutual energy of that? So as always, it's going to pull out the strongest mutual energy and go dip into all your energies. Think about your person, dip into all their energies and pull out the strongest mutual energy about what their feelings are. Keep telling me what the feelings are. I'll uh, check up on these feelings, please. Okay. Can you tell me, please, what are the feelings of the people? Uh, da, 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 da. It's really hard to phrase it sometimes. The collective energy, can you pull out, tell me what their people are feeling about them? What's the strongest mutual energy of them all? Woo! Let's go. Okay. So you've kind of already pulled a third party card. So this is what I'm saying about scenarios and it all kind of being different. Not every single one of you will be in the same scenario, um, but it's coming up as a flagging issue. And sometimes it will be that that is what's actually happening and you will be aware of that. You will know about that because you'll most likely be the third party. However, it can also be fears and things like that. And that's why it's important that we only use two decks so that you can see the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, you know, it, it'll pull it out regardless of what your scenario is. My guy says two is enough. It's quite strong when it needs to be. What have we got over here? That's interesting. Got their feelings. Let's do ten. Let's get ten for you. What are their feelings? Three. You'll be happy to know there's some form of reconciliation. I'll tell you that bit first between the two of you. 
Okay. So, what's kind of happening with your person um, and you, uh, their feelings for you? They are having this wake-up call. I'm, I'm sure this kind of came up in the last reading as well. They are having this wake-up call about how they are feeling about you. Um, so, we've got over here the Two of Cups and the Tower. So, they've been trotting along regardless of whatever your individual circumstances are, whether you're third party, whether third parties are what you're worrying about, whether um, this is completely irrelevant to your energy and it's just these kind of fears that are building up within you they are having this tower moment and they are realizing how they're feeling about you and the situation you they have failed to see it from your perspective all the way along they've been trying to um work it all out in their head and they have been putting um how they think that you feel about them into this big cauldron and you've been doing exactly the same you've been putting your feelings um, about how they you think they feel about you and actually you're both kind of failing to communicate whether you're in physical contact or not the communication is kind of failing about how you're feeling about each other because what you're both doing is trying to think well so and so is thinking thinking this about me and he's oh you well sorry lads your person's going oh well they haven't messaged me or I've ignored them so they are feeling this about me and you're both trying to work out how the other one feels without any kind of communication um, and even if you are in contact you're both kind of doing the same you're not talking about how you're feeling so you're just kind of jumping to the worst conclusions a lot of you are jumping to the worst conclusions about it you're putting everything into the cauldron again this is coming up as a fear my guide is saying this is mainly fears but if you are third party make that sure that you are making the person that they are with irrelevant because if you're putting that energy into that you're manifesting it just as a heads up me guys just told me to remind you so you're failing to see it from each other's perspective your person is now having this tower moment realizing that there has been quite a few mistakes going on um, and they're throwing themselves and kind of kicking themselves in the head feet head kicking themselves they're like oh crap I really kind of messed it up um, and even again even if you're still with them they are having this oh crap I'm realizing how I feel about it but again you're both trying to see how the other person is feeling gaining it from their perspective without even communicating about it so just be aware of that you're this person with the two of cups this is your true love card um, so they're having this wake up call about how they're feeling about you they know that they love you regardless of your individual circumstances and your situations okay um so that's where they currently are they're also feeling quite fed up with the situation um you are also feeling fed up some of you are feeling like you haven't been making any movement at all some of you are feeling like you've got to turn your back on them because nothing's really happening um you're still keeping them in your heart but you are focusing on yourself which is really really good and they are getting into this kind of pining longing energy because you're starting to feel a little bit better again not all of you but some of you are starting to feel quite a lot better with the situation and relaxing over it a little bit therefore in their energy um they're starting to feel worse I, that's the kind of easiest way to describe it when you feel that you are letting go of a situation you wake up in the morning and it's not the first thing in your mind normally in a spiritual energy that's when your person's starting to get that pull towards you because you're feeling better okay so just be aware of that they're fed up with the situation some of them again the towers hit they're realizing they've made quite a few errors um and they're getting ready to make the moves about it you've got the knight of swords over here he's going to be making moves towards you it's going to feel like i know i said this before it's coming up again they're going to feel like nothing is happening and then your person is going to come towards you spirit is saying a lot of them are actually going to communicate with you how they are feeling about you um some of them will be still trying to rule the head with it and be like oh well my heart's saying one thing and my head's saying something else give them the space give them the time um the heart will always win must put my guard saying the heart will always win and with that you then get your reconciliation over here with the six of cups so you, again they're thinking about you a lot they're, you're in their feelings you're in their heart um, there are a lot of memories that are kind of coming up into the surface and those memories um, are bringing that longing and that yearning and that pull back towards you and they are heart-centered um, memories as well so there'll be times when you and them have been together and this love energy has you know overpowered the spiritual you know it's spiritual the, it's so different from a normal relationship the love energy has kind of overpowered the situation and these are the kind of memories they're thinking about the happy ones and um, all the kind of negative stuff that has caused the situation to happen in the first place or for them to back away or be hot and cold or whatever equivalent that is um those memories are starting to fade and these positive ones are starting to come through which then means that they will make these night of 
swords wherever he's gone. He's in my hand. Knight of Swords energy, quick movement towards you. A lot of you, again, I know I said this the other day, a lot of you will hear around Christmas, New Year. Those of you that don't, please don't panic or stress about it. That's your strongest collective energy. Um, and again, even if you are already with them, it feels like Christmas, New Year, there's going to be either actions that are given, like you might get a little present that has got um, more meaning. So pay attention to actions, not words. They're working it all through at the moment. Again, you're in the thoughts over here. You've got the mystic of bells. That's the queen of swords. Um, you're standing in your power. They're thinking it through. They're wanting this new beginning with you, feeling more stable, feeling like they're going to be able to communicate with you telling you how they're feeling and um, they've got into that they are getting into their power they've realized what they've done on this um on these books it says what we say we reap what we say they've realized they're writing it down some of you might even get a few letters um from them and then they're, they're going to be moving it moving it towards you and you'll be there ringing your bell like ding ding i'm here <laughs> come get me ring for service or cups of tea or whatever equivalent they you've got the power over them and they're realising that, they're realising these feelings are coming to the surface. You can ring your bell and they will come running. Some of you it's not quite yet, some of you it is right now. Um, my guide is saying, but don't let these fears, don't let fears get to you. So they're having this wake up call, you're in the power, they are coming towards you. There is movement and they're going to express their feelings towards you. And then you have the Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords for new beginnings, passionate new beginnings and new beginnings based on a situation happening. And the situation is that this tower is happening. The, the emotions are coming to the surface. They're realising how they feel about you. They're realising that you are the one. They're realising that you are actually more in control of the relationship than they are. And no matter what your individual circumstances are, there's new beginnings set here for both of you together with reconciliation together with reconciliation so that's it basically so they're having this tower you try and see it from each other's perspective i know it's hard when you're a bit grumpy at them and a bit of a snarly pants towards them but they are you're you're usually when um, blip 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 <laughs> they're having this wake up call about their feelings start seeing it from one another's perspective they're not happy with the situation and how it's turned out the longing and yearning is getting really really strong regardless of your situation don't panic don't let fears get in about third parties if you are the third party don't let the person that they are with cause any detriment to you and how you feel about them because then you're just pressing pause on it yourself things bubbling in the cauldron, thinking about you, reconciliation, you're in the power, you're standing strong, they're on the uh, movement towards you, even if, again, if you are together, it's movement about feelings and how they feel about you, again, actions, not words, please pay attention to that, because a lot of people, of your people aren't very good at talking about it, they're realising what they've done, they're realising why the situation has ended up the way it has, they'll make those moves towards you, express their feelings, and you have your new beginnings. So really good, really good. And that's deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two. Feelings check in. Okay, so if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, if you were go back to the start of the video, if you just kind of scrolled through, I'm talking about the fact that I'm booked over Christmas um, and New Year now, I'm fully booked December, but I'm doing email readings throughout the festive period because I know I'm, I can't just leave it all in the lurch. And I'm also giving 10% of all the bookings to charity from December. So all the video readings, money's been put aside already. So if you want to donate on top, um, just drop me an email. We're going to the WWF to help our animals. Okay, think about your person. Can I get into the correct energy of that, please? Do, 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 do. Uh, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. So, just going to do an overall checkup of their feelings, what's going on in their emotions. It's very different from thought processes because you know your head tells you one thing and your heart can tell you something else. So, it's good to look at the thoughts and feelings as separate energies. Can you tell me, please, how is the people's. Per collective energy of those watching into their people what's the strongest mutual energy on their feelings for those watching how do they feel about the people watching i've got a song in my head i see you all over me in my head you fulfill my fantasy that's a, a rather sexual song isn't it must be a lot of sexual energy in this. Um, 
Jason Derulo, isn't it? In it. I saw him the other month. What are they feeling? Okay, two. We'll get ten cards for you as well. Your person's feeling quite sad, you know. Okay. Oh, you've got two of cups as well. Okay, so your person as a whole, they're feeling quite emotionally sad at the moment. And the reason for that is they've let these fears get on top of them about whatever, oh, we can't be together or they can't, what don't want to be with me. I'm a mess up. I've done everything wrong. Oh, they, I'm not good enough. And um, there's circumstances why we can't be together and blah, 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 blah. Fill in the gap of your separate scenarios. They are feeling quite hurt by the situation. Three of Swords. So the reason why they are hurt by it is because there's love. Two of Cups. So some of you it will be circumstantial. Some of you it will be complete complicated, not complete, complicated twin flames and blah, blah, blah. Um, but there's love. And the reason why they're hurting their feelings are is because love is there. So they are aware of how they feel about you. They have known how they feel about you for quite some time, but there is a reason as your collective energy, your strongest mutual energy, there is a reason why things are the way they are. And that is they are hurting by the situation. They're feeling really alone. Um, loneliness is coming through. Some of them, um, this isn't all of you, some of them have settled into some kind of rebound relationship. Some of them are already in relationships. Some of them it has nothing to do with third parties at all. Um, but they are having this, again, this has came up in debt one, this wake up call about how they're feeling. They're feeling that they are in, unstable, not secure. There's been a few arguments going on with you lot and them. There's also been a few, um, what do I normally call it, escapism. Your person's generally a bit of an escape artist. Um, running, coming backwards, forwards, running, blah, 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 blah. So feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling like there's been quite a few mistakes, feeling that they're not good enough, um, feeling like they're crying over spilt milk, feeling like they've been left out in the cold. I hate saying that because that's a typical tarot thing to say. And I'm, you know, I'm, not, I'm a psychic medium, not a tarot reader. But that's basically what they're saying. Um, you've got the two cups at the bottom here. They do know that they love you. There's just circumstances that are dictating this as to why you and them are not currently together. You've got footsteps on this, this loneliness and this isolation and this sadness and this heartbreak that they are feeling and panicking about over the Christmas period means that they, these steps are steps towards you. It might feel like some of them have stepped away from the situation. If they, your person has recently stepped away from the situation, please do not panic because love is the driving force of everything in this universe and love is the thing that only counts. You know, a lot of people say, oh, love hurts, love does not hurt. Love is the only thing in reality that fixes everything. Loneliness hurts, um, being let down hurts, betrayal hurts, all of that hurts, but love, love is the only thing that makes this this worth, you know, it, it, love is what you've got to fight for. Um, and love will be the driving force for them and you to move things on together. There is a lot of fear. A lot of them are worrying that they've messed up completely. A lot of them have got these overpowering feelings. It's the hand on the wall, it's the claw. Um, you know, we have these little fears. We've all got fears, but they're turning mountains into molehills and these molehills meaning they're making the situation worse in their head. A lot of them are overthinkers. Um, and there is a lot of, there feels to be quite a lot of pressure coming on them as well. Pressure from external people and external um, circumstances, like it can be work or it can be family. There is a lot of pressure being put on your person. And that again is making them feel like they're isolated and alone. Because where they would have communicated to you before, they have withdrawn. A lot of them have withdrawn from that. And so they are, they're in fear. There's a lot of fear going on. And you are echoing that as well. You're not quite, you, some of you will disagree with me, but you're not actually feeling as bad as what they are. They're feeling quite a lot worse than, than you because they're feeling like they've given up on something. You've got the Queen of Wands, the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups. This is movement indicating back towards you, but they have got to weigh it all up in their head um, and in their heart. At the moment, they're just having a bit of a bit of downtime, over processing, not just processing, but over processing in hermit mode. Um, 
realizing that it takes two hands to clap but also knowing that they love you and they're just not quite sure how to navigate the situation so that you and them can be together there's a lot of uncertainty and that therefore is creating conflict between you and them and them and them them and the heart and the head conflict energy is coming up to the surface um so the giving and taking they're just trying to a lot of them are being logical about it um a lot of them are trying to think on logic but again the guide is saying heart energy will always win heart energy will always be the pullback towards you so regardless of what's actually happening communication um conflict of what to communicate to you conflict of security that's coming through quite strongly and conflict in the communication a lot of them if you are not in contact a lot of them don't actually know what to say so they're not saying anything but really what they want to do is touch you say i love you <laughs> idiots that's really what they want to do. Um, my guide is saying as well that there's two sides to every story, so please just be aware of that. Um, some of you, my guide's bringing up the fact that some of you might have heard some rumours about your person. If that is the case, please just be aware that rumours get started by people that then they were good to once, and you were good to once, you know? Rumours come from, you'll hear stuff from people, but remember, there was a time that you were good to those people. So just leave it, all right? Ignore it, ignore it. Um, unless you feel it's completely legitimate, and if it is, when they come back or when you have communication, you can say, oi, did this happen? So there's no point dwelling on it, let it be. Okay, Knight of Cups movement, two of your strong feminine energy cards here. Um, passionate energy in the high priestess you're standing you are in your power you might disagree with me but you're feeling stable you're feeling secure and there is a lot of passionate energy and that passion is creating love and that love is the movement towards you um you've got three of cups again this can sometimes be a third party it can also be celebration i said it in deck one uh, someone said to me oh you need more than two decks i said no i don't because it pulls out the strongest mutual energy my guy completely disagrees with you it will pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances so it doesn't matter if you're a third party it doesn't matter if you've been single for however long and you're pining over your lover it doesn't matter strongest mutual energy okay celebration though this is coming forward to me as a celebration this time there is going to be movement from your knight of cups but it's it's not a quick fix this one this isn't as quick fix as you would like um obviously you're all at very different circumstances you're all at very different timings there isn't a collective time over this again a lot of you would be surprised this is kind of flicking more to the new year if you didn't hear something around that time however if you don't don't panic because it, do, it doesn't ever mean new year is a new start basically all the shit just carries on from the last year which we just celebrate it for one night <laughs> we're like yeah new start new start and then you wake up the next day and you're like oh, i miss him or i miss her i love her <laughs> it doesn't matter um but this is there is love here and love it you know love is what's freaking them out love is the panicking side of it so you both deck one and deck two got the two of cups you both got strong heart-centered energy just um give them the time give them the space they they will come back round they've just got to lick their wounds for a little while they are really really hurting i wasn't expecting to see that to be fair i never know what's going to come up anyway but they um there is a lot of love so regardless of your individual circumstances, regardless of if you've just been broken up with and your heart is breaking, there is love and it will come back round. So just keep strong, um, have a bit of faith and trust in the universe, manifest the outcome you want. Anyone that ma wants a manifesting plan, let me know, they've got a really good success rate. If not, the manifesting video that I did um, is in the description, as well as a self-love video. And for those of you that are hurting with heartache, it's in all the public descriptions with the timestamps. Um, so yeah, keep strong, keep strong. It's going to be all right. You know, it hasn't got a bad feeling. Debt 2 hasn't got a bad feeling. It feels sad. It does feel sad. I've got to be honest. I feel quite like, ooh, a bit mopey eyed. But love will prevail. I've just heard that really well. And then um, I just heard as well, uh, I heard two things at the same time. I was trying to remember, see what the first one was again. I heard come what may. Um, again, that came out, I think, in a reading the other day. If it didn't, it was on a private reading. But that's about whatever happens, they're still going to love you. Um, and the other one was, it was a biblical quote and I missed it. It's gone. They're not saying it again. 
Okay. I'll find it and I'll put it in the description. So you know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll talk with them in a minute. I don't want to just sit here for about three or four minutes while I'm speaking to them. Like, what was it? Um, because the person that said it went in and went out. And, and then we guys are like, oh, I don't know what it was. Um, so that's it. So if you want to book a private reading, again, I'm doing, I'm booked now, January bookings are coming in. Uh, there will, at the moment, there isn't a turnaround time, but there will be the more bookings that come in. So I will let you know when you book, what turnaround time you are looking at. Um, email readings are gonna carry on throughout the Christmas period. So they're single question ones. So um, I can't, I don't wanna leave you all in the lurch. So I, even if it's on Christmas Day and I get 10 emails from you lot or more, um, I will sit there and I will work through them for you because I, I don't want to leave you lot in the lurch. Um, if you want to make a donation to the WWF with me, uh, please drop me an email um, and then in January I'll let you all know how much we've managed to raise and how much we're sending over. And that's it. Take care guys. Lots of love to you all. Bye.